Okay, now we're heading to the Steppenwolf, where Jeff Perry has a new project. Thank you for having us in your house this time. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at this. I got, I got to be with you, Courtney. Yeah. <laughs> you, Mateo. Before we move on to your current production, I do want to talk about Siegel and performing in the rounds like this because that seems like my nightmare. I don't want people to see the back of my no, yeah, back of my head. <laughs> you never angles. know what you'll see. <laughs> all so, angles. what are the challenges in performing in this space? When a fight breaks out, when somebody needs somebody's attention, what do they do? They don't say. Line up mm -hmm. in rows. <laughs> Line up in rows. They're you, all they, around. They, they, oh, go, right. they go gather round. Yeah. Yes. Gather round. And it's it's fun and interesting challenge for directors and for actors. And the vocal thing of, come on, man, you know you're you got half your back to the audience. Pick it up, get it through your back mm -hmm. somehow, you know? And to think that. A long time ago, y'all were just starting in a room. Oh, you and now said you it now. You said it. You yeah, said yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. It was. It was a, it was yeah. a while ago. 88 then, seats in a basement in Highland Park, on. Illinois, where Gary Sinise and I met at age 14 or 15, wow. where a high school teacher uh, looked at our confused faces and said, you're trying out for West Side Story. Get over here. <laughs> and we ended up getting parts, and the rest was our carnival path of life and it happened and it happened yeah. and and it's real who would you love to to do a guest spot at steppenwolf who hasn't oh, been here great question claire danes oh, oh she would be there great we go, a reunion. yes for those of us who are unfamiliar with yeah. winter's writing yeah. yeah how will we feel leaving the theater after seeing no man's land let me see i was reading something the other you guys and this was from a 1994 uh, production that was in New York of No Man's Land. He said a couple of things that are sticking with me today. He said, No Man's Land moves in its own brisk stage time and it lives during the playing, like music. Mm -hmm. There's no single truth. There's only a series of possible truths. Mm -hmm. It means whatever you think at the time you see it. So a play like that, no matter what you're going, what, no matter what's going on in your life, yeah, you can probably watch and find something that you can connect to. Yes. Or because yeah. I'm in this state, I can put this vision on it, and yeah. she's in another yes. state, she puts this vision. And on I it. like that. Yeah, I, I love like that. that it's idea. interactive theater. Yeah. It is interactive. Yeah. When does the show run until? <laughs> Sunday, August twentieth, matinee. But you know what? You and your friends are going to go. You know, it's not bad. It's not horrible. I've seen worse. <laughs> Wait, it's effing wonderful. And you're going to make it run until September 3rd. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> beautiful. You. Beautiful. Jeff Perry, thank you. Thank go you back so to much. swearing in the back. I love it. <laughs> Check out Jeff Perry at the Steppenwolf in No Man's Land.